Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a brand new palette, the Huda Beauty Wild Jaguar palette. I am so, so excited to try out this palette and create a look. So if you're interested in seeing how I created the look on my face today and hearing my first impression thoughts on this palette, then keep on watching. Hi friends, we're back. I of course have Gloria as usual. What a cutie, we love her. I also got my roots done just right in the front pieces so I do not look scary anymore. As you could tell by the intro, today we are playing with the Huda Beauty Wild Jaguar palette. Now I, um, if you've seen my eyeshadow palette collection video, I only have one Huda Beauty palette left. I decluttered most of them and I don't even know what it is about this color story in particular that really drew me in. But there's something about like these smoky tones that I was like, I need that, like, I need it. So we're gonna do a look today. I haven't quite figured out the vibe I'm going for. I did wear a black sweater. Um, and then I have my Aquarius and uh, Cubic Zirconium necklaces. These are from Forever 21. The sweater I believe is from Kohl's, but it's a couple years old. So there, you can see. The first shade I want to touch into, I don't even know the shade names, but I think I want to use this light cream shade first. I'm just blending that all over my crease to create a nice transition base. It has been so rainy here. It is ridiculous. I'm in Utah and the rain and the smoke combo has not been fun, let me tell you. Using another blending brush, I think I'm going to go into this middle matte shade at the top. This is kind of like a gray, a grayish. I'm putting that in my crease as well, kind of right over where we put the cream base. I forgot to mention, but as usual, I'm using my Fenty eye primer. To me, it's just like the superior eye primer. Does anyone keep up with music? I just need to like shameless promo Luke Hemmings' new album because it is great. Place in me. Perfect cry song, just saying. I used to be a super big fan of Five Seconds of Summer and if you go back on my channel far back enough, I think you could still see a lot of like the Five Seconds of Summer related videos I did. They just were such a fun band to listen to growing up. These are blending so nice. Like, kind of regretting getting rid of my other Huda palettes, honestly. Next, I'm going to go into the matte brown shade. I'm going to put this also in the crease, but a little bit lower than that first shade or the uh, smoky stuff we got going on. So just very lightly kind of tapping and blending that up into the crease just below the previous shade. This is my Melt Cosmetics Beetlejuice, just the smaller tapered blending brush. Melt has really, really good brushes. I would die if they created like a permanent brush line. I'm just going back in with that first blending brush and just kind of buffing everything together. I like to layer my makeup looks. I always do a lot of back and forth blending and then putting more pigment in and then blending some more. It's just, you blend until it looks good and then you just keep adding stuff. Before we get too far in, literally the best thing. My desk is such a mess right now. I will have to show you eventually what this desk looks like. It's disgusting. Next, I'm going to take the black matte. I'm just going to smoke that onto my lower lash line a little bit, slightly into the outer corners. I do plan on going in with a shimmer, but I feel like this will be cute to do just like a little tiny smoked out situation. I don't know if I want to go in with the gold or the purple shade. Those are the two that are like drawing me in. Maybe I'll do a little bit of the gold with the purple on top. That's the game plan. We're gonna do gold with purple. As always, spritzing with a little bit of Fix Plus Spray. I'm starting with the gold shimmer shade because this one seems more like a glitter topper. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into that chunky gold glitter and just pop that all over the lid. I know that these chunkier glitters are pretty popular in Huda's palettes. I had her neon pink palette for a while and that one had a ton of chunky glitters. I don't care for the chunky factor but I do know that if you want some good textured eyeshadows this is your place. I usually prefer more of a smooth either like duo trio chrome situation or something just super like wet metallic looking. Just kind of building that up. I'm gonna add one more spritz of Fix Plus and then we'll go in with the purple shade. I'm just kind of like ruining the design on there. That's 
nice and now i'm just tapping that on top of the gold shade i'm not swiping it because it will uh could possibly like move the gold shade around uh, so i'm just patting it super gently on top of the gold for the lower lash line i'm gonna go in with that gray shade again first and just really smoking that out I do a lot of smoky eye looks typically, but I never really do it in these standard smoky colors. So I'm interested to see how this turns out. Something like that maybe. And then I'm gonna go ahead and jump into that dark brown matte again. And again, smoking that into the lower lash line. The nice thing about smoky eyes is it doesn't have to be precise or clean. You can totally just like ruin it. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of that black matte. This is on a Morphe M506. Just a nice precision blending brush. And I'm just popping that into the very outer corner of my eyelid. Just to add that extra little smoky, I do wanna do a winged liner, but just like that extra little deepness. Depth, that's the word, depth. There isn't a good inner corner highlight shade in this palette, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop into just a regular highlighter to highlight some brow bone and inner corner, and I'll be right back. I'm going to do a quick winged eyeliner. This is just my MAC Brushstroke Eye Pen. I'm going to put this mirror in front of me because I am blind. Alrighty, friends, this is the final look. What do we think? I think it is super, super cute. I'm super excited about this palette. I'm actually very pleasantly surprised. Honestly, I don't know what I was expecting, but I really like the color story in this palette. I can see how this would be a great palette, especially right now. I feel like smoky tones are really coming back into style. So I think this was just like right on the money. Sorry about this wing. I totally messed it up a couple times. I love it. I love the look. I think this is so fun. I'm excited to wear this out on this nice gloomy day. Overall, I think I would have to recommend this one. I've only used it this one time, but there is a nice selection of mattes in here, as well as a good array of shimmer colors. This shade I thought was going to be more of a solid uh, shimmer, but it was more of like a toppery shade. Um, no big deal though, as you can see, I used it over top the gold today, and I really like that combo. I think this is just a really fun, cute look, and I am super, super pleasantly surprised with this palette. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed. I did pick up the Huda Beauty Wild Python palette as well, and I do plan on uploading a video using this one later this week. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I know to continue making these little tutorials and review situations, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, friends!